In Monitor tonight, building community spirit. South Seattle brings to mind an area of factories and warehouses, place to work but perhaps not to live. But within that industrial sprawl sits South Park, a blue-collar area struggling to maintain its identity as a neighborhood. On Saturday, the city dedicated a new community center, a hub to keep that spirit alive. In this photo essay by Neil Rubino, we learn that much of the new center's charm comes from its interactive artwork designed by local artist Ginny Ruffner. Interaction, involvement, collaboration. Keys to a successful project, which has become the pride of South Park. When you finish a project, it's always like letting go of an old friend. And in the summertime here, there's a lot of sports, so I put in... So it's been almost exactly three years from start to finish of the project. It, yeah. This building's better than the last one. And I hope they really have a good time with it and use it a lot. You know what I like about it? Let's play soccer in here and t-ball. They did a beautiful job. I'm sorry I complained. I really am. But I still miss the old one. The South Park has always been a pretty active community, especially in the olden days. And a lot of people say this is not the communities going downhill. I don't believe that. We want this as a residential area. And we have fought against the industrialization. It's like a very close town that's a very close knit. When I think of South Park, I think of this building. It's just so wonderfully funky. It's 70 some odd years old. It's also inaccessible. The basketball gym is on the second floor. So you get this really enormous amount of noise of the basketballs whacking and the people running back and forth. We'll say art room is actually down below. It's real loud in there. Get that cat to Mabel. So it makes it very difficult for seniors to use the center at all. You have to go upstairs, then down to the art room, or up to the basketball gym. So one of the things was to make it completely accessible for seniors and handicapped. Part of my job as a member of the design team is to affect the entire site, and that was something that was a specific directive to me from the Arts Commission. All the art I wanted to be participatory, both with the environment and with the center users. It was the final goodbye dinner for the old building, and they took a real active part in saying goodbye to the old one and, and bringing in the new one. We're going to make it so that the whole sidewalk is like a game. It was a method of transition before the tearing down the old one and starting on the new. So we're saving the existing front gate and just embellishing it. What we wanted to do was interact with the community because the community is the one who has to live with it. Oh, I I've been here coming here all my life. I, I know. So and and now I don't think they everything. need to tear it down. They can fix it. There was a real small group of residents that was interested in preserving the old building. But we also need the symbol of our history, the focal point for the neighborhood. The only practice. They did present their case to the Landmark Preservation Board. The old structure and build a new one. It's a blasted landmark. You'll see a remembrance in that new building. I imagine if it, the old building feels anything like I do, it's time for a new building. <laughs> it's just like, it's just very sad to have it go. that the building was an, an appropriate reference point, but not one worth saving on the merits of the building itself. The two main things that South Park is about are play and learning. There are actually 600 bronze elements that are embedded inside the sidewalk. 
feels funny, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. These are a series of both boys and girls, handprints and tiles that'll go on the locker room walls. There's a tile mosaic that these are a part of. Oh, here you are, Julie. <laughs> Perfect. Josh, Perfect. Right That's the entrance to the artwork and to the game. The different elements echo somewhat elements in the architecture. The whole thing is a board game. In every other square, there's a letter of the alphabet. And then to the side of it is the international Morse code, then the braille, and then the deaf hand sign. So there's a lot of stuff to learn here. This way, the center users have a real strong connection with the architecture itself. Because their names and ages will be on the tile, they'll be able to go in year after year and compare how big they've gotten with their own handprints. The company that made the arch itself set the sidewalk and cast the bronzes is about two blocks away from the South Park Community Center. So this was like a homecoming for them. I like to shine because it's up higher and it's easier to see and when you feel bored you can just come on in. <laughs> a postcard, like, and it says, Hi, having a great time. Wish you were here. Right here, this is Braille. They got a keyboard right here. My birthday is July 12th, so we go one, two, three. That's July 12th, my birthday. And I wanted it to be something that you wouldn't get bored with after 75 years. <laughs> well, I've been down here many times, and we see something new all the time. Oh, good. <laughs> now we feel we have a uh, center that can be widely used by people of all age. And so now that it's open, they've got a place to come again, to play, and be safe. And that's what they need. And they've got it again. I'm happy that I could be a part of creating that for another generation of kids to look back on when they're grown up. And maybe they can then help create community centers for the generations after them. And we should add that this video, like the project itself, was a long-term commitment, a two-year project that was produced by King photographer Neil Rubino. I'd say uh, Neil captured the little community magic there. Well, I think he gave us a little community lesson, too, in a time mm. when jobs and schools tend to spread us all out during the yeah. day. It's very useful to note what a positive effect a community center can have after that. Mm. It's remarkable that community has kept so much spirit because mm -hmm. they've gone through tremendous change in the last 50 years or so. Well done. Now, we have a big 